Any TVHM tips? It's your first time around. I do a little bit of side questing. Try to stay on level a little bit. If you get bored, maybe like go do some DLCs. Stuff like that, maybe. If you're ever like really achy for items, you could go to the Marcus's Mercenary Day DLC. That's pretty good for that. But yeah. Any guns you recommend? I'm on zero at the moment. Uh, I mean, the anything that does good damage realistically, like if you're early into TVHM, grab yourself a Lasco from, uh, you got the Unkempt Herald? That's a good pick. I will say the Unkempt Herald is kind of rough against uh, like certain enemies, especially smaller ones like rats and stuff. Here, let's, let me get on this character. There's the Lasco, there's the Unkempt Herald, there's any Vladoff or Molly One Sniper Rifle, or Jacobs. Whatever you just did didn't pop up on the screen for some reason for me to see it properly. Great Scott, thank you, I appreciate it. Hope you're doing well today. But yeah, let's go ahead and show you the Lasco real quick. Okay, thank you fam. Yeah, I appreciate it. So yeah, we got, let me go to the last go real quick. So you're in Frostburn, right? You're doing your normal Frostburn stuff. You're like, whoa, this is Frostburn, so cool. Whenever you get to this area, just hang a left. Walk down this waterway over here. And then right over here in this puddle, Free SMG. It does great damage. It does like incredible damage. The only issue with it is it has a custom pattern for the bullet spread. And the pattern shoots a little bit up and to the left of the reticle. So you have to like aim for that. I think you missed my question. Thoughts on Tiny Tina's Wonderland? Uh, well, I haven't played it because it's not out on Steam yet and I'm waiting for it to come out on Steam. So I'm gonna just wait till it comes out on Steam. But yeah, the bullet pattern is in the shape of a moose, a bull, one of the two, something like that. Most of the pellets wind up here, about where the head is. So that's pretty good, just reference for that. Uh, the ruby is nice. If you get a slag one, that's preferred. Uh, Torg shotguns, Hyperion, like, single barrel, maybe double barrel shotguns. Uh, Jacob shotguns, most of them. You can get away with, like, the Herald, the Lasco, a Lyuda, or a White Death, if you're playing on the console that says it's a White Death. Alright, sweet, uh, my man, thanks for the advice, of course. And then for shields... Melee shield, turtle shield, absorb shield. Probably not an Anson shield on zero because he is really, really, like, has a hard time healing. So I wouldn't recommend putting extra health on him early on. Skyrocket, fastball, transfusion grenades. That's about it I think if you see a gun and you think it might be good try it if it's good keep it <laughs> that's about all I can recommend the Maggie the Slaga a, yeah a Tesla the Stormfront any of that stuff if you ever need loot Marcus Mercenary Shop the Headhunter That should be enough. <laughs> Hopefully. There's a chest in Frostburn people like to farm. There's a chest in Heroes Pass right before Warrior that people like to farm. There's always like farming bunker, I guess. That's a choice. That's most of it, I think. At least most of like the generic stuff that you'll really need. 
There should be plenty of info. Or plenty to work with. I've been doing the Marcus Mercenary Shop thing, but the loot I get from it is never really that good. Any ideas why? Well, um... Is it under your level? Is it, like, lower level now? Like, if you're level 42, is it, like, level 35 or something like that, maybe? Because the DLCs don't really keep up with you. You're level 45, you don't know if that matters. Not really. Not really too much, no. Uh, I would recommend, it might be rough, but I would recommend trying to push for Bunker. If you have Boar, you can one-shot Bunker, you'll get tons of XP for it, Bunker drops good loot, and then you just kind of have to suffer through Angel's Control Core. Wait, the DLC drops don't follow your level? Uh, in TVHM in normal mode, not really. They, okay, if you're in normal mode, some of the DLCs are minimum level 15, or they match your level, and then some of the DLCs are hard stuck at level 31. TVHM, I think, follows a similar idea. Sorry if these questions are really obvious or dumb. No, they're not dumb. Uh, this game is just massive, and not everybody plays it. So that's totally fair, my man. I get it. Hmm, what else is there to do? Hey, Wid. How you doing? Well, yeah. Uh, if you get stuck, stuck, just do some side questing. Maybe shoot a guy that's your level a couple times till you're higher level than him. Preferably a boss, not a mob. That would take forever with mobs. Just stuff like that, I guess. That's all I can really recommend for you. All the DLCs are available and pretty fun. Pirate DLC would be pretty good because you could get the Pimpernel. And the Pimpernel is pretty gross on Zero, of course, because you buff snipers a lot. And it's just already good in general. I mean, I use it on Maya. And she's probably the second best character for it, I bet if you don't include bugs like Salvador existing. So yeah, that. That, that, that. And to get a streamer that patiently answers them is actually gold. I, I mean, I guess. I don't know. The problem is, this is less of an answer and more of just me rambling at this point. I'm just spitting out a bunch of stuff. Just so much stuff. But yeah, most of that. If you retained any of that. <laughs> Which, there was a lot of it. Oh, uh, Vladov pistols are good. Maliwan pistols are okay. Hyperion pistols with Vladov barrels are good. Uh, Bandit rocket launchers. Some Torg rocket launchers. Maliwan rocket launchers are kind of weird. Hmm... I don't use assault rifles at all. <laughs> I really don't. I never find good genuine use out of out of assault rifles. I did, bro. Thanks. I'm just gonna lurk for now. Thanks for the help. Of course. Uh, I'm gonna be streaming for about 40 more minutes, and then I'll be streaming tomorrow, probably about the same time. If you have any more questions, I got you. Absolutely no problem at all. E-Tech launchers mainly blot off in Maliwan. Yeah. But those are really case specific, and nobody really like will go out of their way to find those. Yeah, but I've seen streamers that say, oh, you could always refer to Uncle Google. Like, I mean... Well, yeah. But that's more of like... One person. <laughs> There's like one streamer I know that does that, and I want to like the guy, but he can be a little bit aggro sometimes, and I just, I, I, I'm not a fan. Personally, I can't do it. It's not a thing I enjoy. He's just like, eh. Oh yeah, Loot Lemon exists. I never use it, but it's there, yeah? That's true. 
Let's go kill a level 80 snowman. Just for science. With an OP-10 conference call. Also for science. But nah. There's a ton of routing that you can do for this game. Maybe I should make a guide. I should make a Brady game style guide. Except for like way shorter and less awful. Because I really don't like that guide at all. You know. One that tells you like, hey, around this level, try this. And then it'll throw out a bunch of options for things you can do at that level. And then that's way easier for people to do. Damn, really do miss this game. Just so satisfying to watch. I think you mean just the rocket jumping is. The rocket jumping is so fun. Although the button mashing was also pretty good for that uh, Terra fight too. What's up, John? Watching you fly around with a rocket jump is sat so satisfying. Thank you. Very few people do this besides like speedrunners. So, it's kind of an underused thing. But that's also because getting a rocket jumper is very specific. The sideways pellets pushed it off. Melted. Okay, once again, level 80 boss. OP-10 conference call. The exponential scaling of this game is ridiculous towards the top end, so it just makes sense that that DPS would be that high like that. Like, I could probably pull a similar thing on, like, Terra. With a level 80 Terra and a level OP-10 conference call. Maybe even without a B-shield. Not even using the right elemental relic. Finally home eating steak, rice, and broccoli while playing PS5. Nice. How was the rest of work? Awful, probably. Wow. Hmm. Do I clip out me rambling about items that you can get and just throw that on YouTube? Because that could be funny. <laughs> There's going to be like one person who finds it useful and then everyone else is just going to be like, I can't watch this. He's just all over the place. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. I might try that, just to see what happens. I don't know if you heard of Valorant, but you might just be a dope-ass raise main with those rocket jumping skills. Well, you see, the thing about rocket jumping in Borderlands 2 is it doesn't require skill. It requires you to just destroy your controller. Because I can rocket jump as soon or as late as I want to, at all times. And it's just a matter of how many buttons I'm pressing. Which is totally different. You left work and only two people were in kitchen? Oof. Uh, I have an example of this. I have played Team Fortress 2 for 500-ish hours, and I'm terrible at rocket jumping in that game. Like, it's really bad. So it's, it's totally different. But yeah, whenever there's, like, pacing involved, I am really bad at it. But since I have free reign over how fast I press buttons here, it's not a problem. Okay. So, level... Well, basically 90. Level 80 boy. Getting close to the big 1k followers, my man. I know, it's kind of nice. Kind of weird. I don't know what I'm going to do for it. But it's kind of cool. Doesn't require skill? No, it just requires muscle memory. Which, I don't want to say it's not skill, but it's muscle memory. Like, every time I rocket jump, I'm not like sitting there thinking, oh, I'm going to press this button and this button. My brain just double shot, and then I double shot, you know? It's like that. So it's totally, it's just idle thinking. It's not active at all.
And also you have to keep in mind I have like four and a half thousand hours in the video game. So like, it's not skill. It's just time wasted. That's all it is. This is almost as fast as the Zero. Except for the Zero was using on level versus on level. After this I want to try it with a B shield on. You could probably jug, well, probably chug a liter of milk on stream for 1k and pour some milk. I'm good. This seems a little oddly specific and I don't like it. <laughs> we tried to fix our the ice machine before you left, but nope, wasn't working. Well, maybe we go into the store tomorrow and there's no ice for anybody, ever. Nobody can order a drink with ice. That'd be kind of funny. My man just leaves the loot. Yeah, this is my, like, main main character that I've had for, like, years. So, she doesn't really need anything. It's already, like, all the stuff. This character just has existed for too long. Right, so we put on the B shield. I have, like, no shotgun ammo. The one next to our fridge was locking up, so I took it apart and turned it off. Gotcha. I remember you ordered a PC that came broken, and you sent it back or something. How's the progress on that? Well, at this point, I'm literally just sending it to my girlfriend's brother. And then I'm at probably going to move up there when it gets fixed. And then I'll just have a nice computer as soon as I move at this point. That's the plan. It's really expensive to mail up computer. Like, who would guess? Thing weighs like 40 pounds. <laughs> Turns out it's not cheap. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah. You could have fixed it. I'm John, I'm not gonna give you my new computer. You make computer? John, let me explain something to you. After saving up several paychecks from work, I bought a computer with a 3000 series graphics card in it. I'm not letting you touch that. <laughs> I'm not. I'm just not. I'm sorry. I'm going to have somebody who I know is actually like fluent in computer do the things. Your PC costs more? I don't care. Anyone can go online and buy an expensive computer. Wow. You just won the US title in this match and then the guy I beat and took it from just bashed my head? <laughs> what? Tricky, why? You bought yours from scratch though? Okay, fair enough. You put it all together yourself. Nice. I was in the mindset of a zero still. That's a problem. Eh, I don't know, Coxie. Usually in the computer universe, expensive does equal good. It might also equal overkill, but it still equals good. Hmm. Warrior? I don't know what with, but warrior. Okay, the texture of that shake got you. Oh, like it was gross? You also have an RTX 2060 Super that costs around 450. Yeah, no. You did get a 10 year warranty with it though? Nice. Tasted great? Oh, okay, good. The texture was not it though. Gotcha. Man, I wish I was Zubies. If I could just fly through this map like an absolute monster. What if I use this? I don't deal enough damage to use it. Okay, got it.
Wait, Squiggy, why are you getting called out by John? What for? Hold on. I'm looking at your controller HUD. Why do you constantly press the right and up D-pad buttons while jumping? Oh, uh, that is because that is how I multi-shot. Because I have to press shoot, press reload, swap, and swap back. And then if I want to multi-shot from there, I just press reload, hold shoot, and swap. So that's how I'm rocket jumping every time. Every time you see me shoot, it's because I'm doing a double shot. It's kind of stupid. Jesus seems complex AF. A little bit. But you get used to it. It becomes very natural. That's not going to make it. That jump is actually, like, insanely hard. It's so difficult. I get it, like, one out of ten times. It's it's really bad. It's a really long jump. That wasn't it. I did not get nearly enough scoop on that. You should see how much it was to try and order a 5.0 CU mini freezer and have it sent to my house. 150 for shipping, 180 for the freezer. Oof. This is just mad impressive to you, watching you fly around. Thanks, I appreciate that. But no, I mean, this is just... When, when you can do this, you can just do this. Like, it's not as crazy. There we go. 33% of the time, it works every time. <laughs> uh, junk effect stacking is so dumb. $700 first day. <laughs> uh. What was that zoom in and zoom out? Uh, that was me stacking grog nozzle effect. I can explain all of this after I kill the warrior. Please die. Cool. Okay, so the first thing I have to explain is... Technically just one bug, but it's sort of like two based on how I treat it. So... In this game, if you have a gun that has multiple shots and you have the ability to reload that gun, you can force it to fire about as fast as you want it to. And I say about because most people can't really like move their hands fast enough. But basically, there is an opener and then there is like a follow-up that you do. The opener is called double shot where you hold down shoot, press reload, swap guns, and then swap back. The follow-up is multi-shot, which is you you press reload, hold down shoot, swap, and then swap back. It's almost the same thing, but two of the steps are flipped a little bit. And then with this, you can just do the double shot and then do the multi-shot until the magazine is empty. And you can go about as fast as you can press buttons. Now, you can also use this, like, to shoot after you reload your gun, if you need to do that for some reason, like if your enemy is one shot away from dying. Did you find all these bugs yourself? No. No, no, no. These bugs have existed forever. I just got decent at using them. Alright. And now, the next bug I have to explain, which isn't really too much of a bug, is drunk stacking. Basically, this gun has an effect where it will randomly multiply pellet count that it shoots. This effect can be swapped to a different gun if you swap fast enough. Now, you could sit here and wait for the effect to trigger, and then you get times six-ish pellets like that, or you can try to force it to happen by opening and closing your inventory, because every time you do, it basically just rolls the gun to see if it wants to give you the effect. 
So you just use the spamming your inventory really quick. So you get the effect, swap to a different gun, and then you just use the multi-shot, double shot thing that I was talking about earlier. And then you can just dump incredible amounts of everything at everything. It's great. You can also get dogs in the background sometimes. That's just a side effect of living. <laughs> but yeah, like it can take a gun that does this and it's like, well, three pellets, cool. And then you can stack drunk and then be like, whoa, more pellets, cool. Uh, thanks for sharing, can't wait to use this on my own unkempt herald. <laughs> I mean, you can use it on the Unkempt Herald, but I don't like that. How did the zero go? Uh, we beat the game. We we killed the warrior and turned in the quest at 6 hours and 58 minutes. And then we killed Terra at 7.06. So, turned in the game. Farmed a herald, farmed a bee shield, got a slag ruby, and then killed Terra in about eight minutes. All of that in eight minutes. It wasn't that bad, honestly. It really wasn't that bad. By the way, is the be all end all peak performance be all two? No, stop. Tricky white. Uh, yes, it's a decently big city, so 50 miles. The big, big city is like 90 to 100 or so. Yeah. It is a little distance away, that town. Which we will not disclose because I am streaming. John, please don't do it to me. Think about it. But yeah. Uh, just by using double shot and multi shot and drunk stacking. You can break pretty much all of this video game and just explore whatever you want and do whatever you want, right? You just have free reign. Like, don't dox the man, John. Gosh, he's not. Which I appreciate. Oh. I'm sure there are map glitches in this game, right? Like, to get access later areas in the game early. If it requires you to have a load zone, like the press X to travel button, usually they don't make those pop up until a certain quest. So, no. But, like, if you want to just skip most of a map, you can do that. <laughs> like, uh, let's go to Bloodshot. Bloodshot's the prime example of a map that's, like, you can just skip it all if you know how. So, Bloodshot, big long map, big windy spot, all that gross stuff. You know, because you gotta like, you go through here and then you have to like clear the wave here for this door to open. And then you push through here and you have to fight through the suck. And then Mad Mike pops up and he's awful and then you have to run through this area and down to Roland and then wait for Roland. And then you get to run through and go to the ramparts. Or, and this is like the semi-normal route, and this even works in the first playthrough if you're really good with grenade jumps, because you can double nade this stuff. I'm just going to do rockets because it's easier. Most people will grenade jump from right here up onto this spot right here. Jump on this thingy jump over to here, walk across here a little bit, and then there are a couple ways to grenade jump here, but there's actually like a pipe here that extends out a little bit further than its texture. You can do a grenade right here and then just kind of like jump up and get on here. And then from here, this is arguably the hardest normal jump that people do. You can throw a grenade up here. Melee about three times, wait a second, throw a nade. And if you're lucky, it gets you up on top of this area. You walk across here. 
and then you can just walk through this wall because there will be a wall here but it actually you could just clip right through it you can press his gate from this side and then just run back out and go over to the door and then you just skipped what like all of this map right here and it's fast or you can like do pro sweaty rocket jump god tier ridiculousness which i can't even do properly and I'm gonna try now, if you have the rockets and the stuff for it anyway. Now, this is done on Salvadors by speedrunners who are way better at the game than I am. So just take heed of that before I continue. Like this is the top is tiered way to do this. So what they like to do is get not here. I don't know where they go, honestly. This whole skip is confusing to me because I just never do it. Oakman, jump through the giant teleporter that's under Mad Mike. Yeah, that's definitely what that is. For sure, that's what that is. Is it from here? It's surely not. It's surely like up there, right? Somewhere? I don't know. They'd start somewhere near here. And then through their god tier skills, they can like off of that, and then like not land here, because I'm pretty sure this is out of bounds. But they land somewhere that they manage to like get up there and then run around and do the thing. Which is even more disgusting. Show the death warp to the Wilhelm area? Sure. That's not that hard. That's just like if you know, you know. Alright, so what he is talking about is we go to Tundra Express, and this is for if you're in the main quest and you're about to go fight Wilhelm. It's pretty nice. So yeah, you're over here, you made the bridge fall, you don't jump out of bounds and die, that's not what you do. You come in here. Now upon coming in here, that respawn station is not triggered. So if you die, you actually spawn over here, right next to Wilhelm. You get to ignore this first set of mobs here, the weird set here, the set here, the big chunk here, and the exploder there. You try to die without walking forward and triggering that spawn point. There we go. So yeah, just don't go forward. You die. You wait for it. And now you're just over here. Skip the bots, ignore all the problems, just go fight the Wilhelm man. So convenient, so nice. Oh right, this is level 80. <laughs> I don't have... <laughs> this is level 80, it's not OP10. <laughs> Oh my god, I forgot about that. Just murdered that man in cold blood. Yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's a skip you can do. Tricky stop. Literally writing shit down. Write that down, write that down. You willed Kilhelm? Yes. Yes, I did. Oh, let me show you another sick, cool, pro gamer strat. I got to check this out. That poor man, he's okay, don't worry about him. Disregard this part, this is not important. This is just me in transit to the next funny. 
I don't trust that man. This man got in the way. Also, yeah. Uh, someone raised a good point. I don't know how my controller isn't, like, murdered either. I've had it for over a year, and it just is still standing strong. Alright. Here's the next pro gamer skip. So, like, you know, you walk this railway thing, you walk, like, down there, over here, down here. Just, just go around. Whoa, so cool. So OP. What a pro gaming strat. Teaching all these speedrun strats? I know, right? Alright. So now with vacuum in background. Check this out, ready? So you're here, right? You kill the waves with Lilith. You turn in the quest. And then you think about the fact that, oh, she's going to teleport me over here. And then I have to walk all the way back over. Just save quit. <laughs> After you turn in the quest, you can just save quit. Easy. Pro gamer strat certified for Frostburn Canyon. <laughs> That's how we do it. I can't speed run for shiz, but it's gonna be super fun trolling the homies though. Yeah. Well, the Wilhelm one only works if nobody walks forward, because if one person walks forward, it triggers the respawn. And then that's just unfortunate. Another one... If you are in TVHM or UVHM, and you don't want to walk through the fridge whenever you first get here, all you need to do is walk to here, a dialogue will trigger, write out that dialogue, save quit, reload, you'll spawn over there, and then you just walk to the fast travel, and then the Highlands Outwash will be available to travel to. You don't even have to walk through the fridge. Works in TVHM and UVHM. You can just entirely skip dealing with rats. It's so nice. Did we, uh, do we also do the constructor skip and outwash? Oh god, alright, hold on. Well, there's several, there's so many routes in outwash that exist, right? I mean, not really all the routes, but like, they're just different ways of doing the same thing, I guess. Uh, first thing, little grenade jump right here on top of this building, so you don't have to walk around it or deal with the hot loaders and stuff. That's pretty chill there. Next one. You can get over here. Put a grenade about here. Get on this pipe. Another grenade. Maybe not get bullied and interrupt your jumps properly. There we go. Now you can just walk across this thing. So cool. So fun. Jump over here. You can just drop right into the next area. I'd recommend like, you know, triggering the respawn, grabbing some ammo, and then pushing to the mans. Or, for another option, you can come down this way and just use the water. Walk across to this pipe. Grenade here. Up onto pipe. And then you can just sort of like crouch there and just get up. From there, if you want to skip the constructor spawning. Another nade here. Jump over wall. And yeehaw. You're done there. Do you know any wacky glitches with Maya specifically? Oh brother, just you wait, hold on. I got you. One more though. We got one more way to get across this waterway that doesn't involve riding the elevator thing or the, the bridge thing. And that is... 
if you just don't go close enough to that bridge over there, the exploders don't spawn. So up until probably about this line right here, you can walk up here and no exploders spawn. From here, just jump on this side of the rail. And just use your legs. And you just walk around on the outside of the railing like this. You can walk straight over here. No exploder spawn, you now have the bridge. And you can just walk across the bridge. No exploders. Okay. So, there is one thing from Maya that I find funny if I can connect to online. I might not be able to. Steam was being weird earlier. Uh, if I don't have the power to, I'll just try to describe it. Maybe bust out a video that shows it, and then I have to call it a night after that, unfortunately. But hopefully it'll update the session, and I'm in offline mode. Oh, even better, I'm stuck in the eternal loop that is creating online session. That's so powerful. Yeah, this game is cursed, unfortunately. They just kind of broke it. Oh yeah, that exists, yeah. Alright, let me just explain it to you instead. We're just gonna, I'm gonna be stuck in this time loop forever. I'm just gonna alt F4 the game and just pull up a video instead so we can just talk about that. Because it's way easier to do. On Maya, you have a fun little skill that's broken in multiplayer called Scorn. It's sort of like, not as good as Expertise's bug, but it also matches some of the criteria of Expertise's bug. Like, you have to be off host and you have to be online. And that's the criteria. <laughs> now, basically, in multiplayer, you can spam your melee button whenever you have Scorn available, and it'll shoot out like a handful extra. But, if you bind it to something like a scroll wheel, you can just force spam just a ton of them out. Let me see if I have a video with it, kinda. This is kind of it, except for this is being used for, like, breaking the game in a weird way that you don't really care for. But this also is a thing that you could probably do to one of your friends. Let me just go ahead and get it to capture. Does it clutter the game? I've had one person claim that it has caused their friend's game to crash, but I have not have proof yielded. My thing just froze. I've had one person say that it causes their game to lag, but I have had no physical proof of it. <laughs> nice. So Alright. We put the game here. Oh god, why did I do this? Is there a version where... Okay, there is a version. Alright, so. Bind melee to scroll wheel, right? Actually, yeah, let's just reduce this again. Holy shit, that was at least 15. It was beautiful! My camera is still in the same spot, so I have to... Oh, wait, no, it's not. Ah, uh, JK, I can do this. Alright. So you just spam out a ton of scorn. It's a lot. It can cause people's games to lag... It can put somebody through the floor if you do it right. It's incredible. Big sad. Man, if only I had a macro. Hold on. Let me just skip forward a little bit. Uh, I skipped forward a little bit too much. All right, check this out. Scorn at somebody jumping through the floor. He just, he disappeared. He's just gone. Uh, this is very hard to do consistently, but it exists. <laughs> that? Yes. Let me in! You can yeah. sort of get yourself through the ground too, but it's very wow. specific. You have to be like airborne. Like, check this out. If I think I get it to work second try. Oh, fuck. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Yeah, there. So yeah, you can sort of just clip through the floor. 
I tried to put this to use inside of the raid this on Digipeak to like do the item this. like overload skip where you just throw a bunch of stuff on the floor and then just dip through. And like it kind of works. It's not great, but it kind of works. For this specifically, like this level of mess, you have to have a really laggy host. I I guess eyeball it based on the animation. So like, notice how I get pretty close to Squiggy here. Just to time it right. Boom. Through the floor. I got stuck in a bad spot because I was in a bad spot. But yeah, through the floor on Digipeak. For skipping reasons. This is an option. It's available. It's very cursed, but it's available. But yeah. That is all I have time for, unfortunately. Now I have to call it a night. Let's see who's online.